Oh, sh**. It's messages from Divine Masculine. Mother f Yeah! We gonna do the Twin Flame reading messages from Divine Masculine. Hello, everybody. It's Saturday. Happy Saturday. It's messages from Divine Masculine. We're doing a reading for Divine Masculine for the week of August 15th, 1 to the 5. 1 to the 5. Divine Masculine. Yeah. 1 to the mother 5. Oh, yeah. 1 to the mother 5. Oh, yeah. That's right. I hope you're all having a super chipper morning just like I am or afternoon or whatever it is. Wherever you are out there in YouTube land, we're going to get the low down and the down low on Divine Masculine, which actually, I have to say, you know, it's kind of like Divine Masculine should be a swear word too. So from now on, it's going to be divine. Now, if we're talking about divine feminine, that's okay. No, 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 I'm just kidding. Divine masculine, we love you. We love you, dude, or dudette. Yeah, and you know, hey, let's face it. It could be like that. I'm it's what, you, what you call divine feminine. That's me, right? My twin flame is a woman, and she is what you call divine masculine. I remember when I first heard about that, and uh, this was in the very beginning when it was still like all running and chasing between us, right? That was a long time ago. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of us, we, we try to tell our twin flame, look, I figured out what this is, we're this thing. Like, you think that's going to make a difference. Like, they're going to go, oh, my God, you're right. I get it. Oh, I've been so foolish. I love you. That's it. Let's be together. Now I see that we're twin flames and that we're required to be together. And we're supposed to be together. And that changes everything. Yeah. No, didn't work, did it? It didn't work, did it? No, it didn't work. But nonetheless, we try. And, you know, every time we try to tell him something, it's like, son of a... Every time I got to try to get this person. Well, anyway, so I told her about Twin Flames and she was like, not having it. Like, I don't believe that and stop talking to me about that. But then I found out about the whole DF and DM thing. And I tried to tell her about that and she actually like kind of understood what I was saying. And before I could even get to the part where I was telling her that we are the reverse of what you usually get. Because usually Divine Feminine is an actual woman. Like if you look at my subscriber base on this channel, for example, it's, it's almost 87% females and the rest are men. And so I guess that's hence the name, Divine Feminine, right? It's usually, it is a, a woman. And the other one is a man. Well, anyway, I was explaining that to her, and she took the words right out of my mouth. She took the words right out of my mouth. I, I started to explain it to her. Before I got to this part in the explanation, she interrupted me, and she goes, yes, and we're the reverse. Like that. She goes, oh, yes, and we're the reverse. I get it. I get what you're saying. We're the reverse. Okay. And I was like, yeah, yeah, you're right. I, that's it. That's what I was going to say. And she says, yeah, I get it, but I don't believe it. I gotta go now. <laughs> she can't get enough of me now, of course. That was a long time ago. But oh my, oh my goodness, guys. Look at this at the bottom of the deck. We got the Four of Wands, Divine Masculine. The Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. How do you like that action? Well, gee, Kurt. I like that a lot. I knew you would. Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck, guys. Also, 444. 444. This video just hit 444. How do you like that shit? Or, I mean, um, how do you like that? Yes. So, Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Now, look at this. Recent past, Seven of Cups. 
Recent past for Divine Masculine. Way too much going on in Divine Masculine's life situation. Now, it's all going away, right? Like this is all about stability. That's why the Four of Wands comes out at the bottom of the deck because it's all about stability and clearing all this shit out. I'm done with the little beeper, by the way, for those of you who are not feeling it anymore. I'm just going to cuss, okay? So there you go. There's the, there's the goddamn seven of, seven of Cups at the bottom of the mother at the, at the, at the, yeah. So now moving on. Okay. The Knight of Wands in reverse next to the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Very interesting. Very interesting. This is key, guys. You got to you got to look at this one, okay? Because this is where divine masculine is starting to recognize that they are beyond form, that they are beyond person, that they have some deeper purpose or meaning or sense of self or something. Okay? And Divine Masculine, this is kind of a big deal, guys. Divine Masculine, they don't understand Twin Flames the way that you do. They just respond to it. So I guess you could say it's like intuitive or something for them. It's like that. Like they just kind of sense it and they just kind of respond to it. It's like primal. Okay. Now, towards you, Divine Feminine, the Fool in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles. So... Divine masculine feeling restricted and limited like they just can't be themselves around you. It's not really that they've been rejecting you, at least not lately. It's more like they don't feel adequate. So there is a big shift going on. Well, that's very interesting. Now, page of swords at the heart of the reading. Son of a gun. Look at that. <clears throat> okay. So this is this energy of holding back. Why? Because suffering, that's why. Divine masculine. Look, divine feminine, as you are ascending, they are shifting too. And they're going to go through some shit. They're going to go through some things, okay? Make no mistake about that. It's very, very painful for them. So for them to be holding back like that is nothing more than a, what would you call it? Like a, like a protection mechanism. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> it's not really that they want to hold back. It's that they, they're afraid of getting rejected by you. There, I'll just say it. They're afraid of you turning the tables on them. Okay, now look at this. Okay, so this is the Knight of Swords in reverse next to the High Priestess. The High Priestess. How do you like that? So this notion of like rushing into things and doing things hastily is being alchemized. Divine Masculine, that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. So from now on, Divine Masculine smoothly moving forward in this process, allowing things to be what they are. Does that sound familiar? I mean, if you've been on my channel for a while, that should sound familiar to you. Go watch my free coaching videos. My Twin Flame is permanently in my life and I've coached over 4,000 students. I've caused more unions than any other Twin Flame coach on the planet. Yeah, you should go watch my free coaching videos. Go check them out, guys. <clears throat> Do something about your situation. <clears throat> this is exactly what I'm talking about. Ten of Swords and the Two of Wands. Okay, so towards you in this energy, I've got a decision to make. Why? Because Divine Feminine, it's the energy. It's what you're causing. Don't you see what I'm trying to tell you? You are your twin flame. You are them. You know that you are a soul. You're causing this to happen, these shifts, by increasing your consciousness. You've got to get out of the addictive energy with them and align with your soul. They are your soul. Everybody knows that twin flames are the same soul. So the more that you ascend, <clears throat> the more that their situation breaks down and the more they're going to feel drawn towards you. That's why it's almost like they're embarrassed to talk to you right now because they know how badly they screwed things up. Divine Masculine is just really kicking themselves in the ass and they are just like, dude, son of a... I really screwed that up with Divine Feminine. Okay, enough of that. Let's do an Oracle card, guys. And as always, go to my website. Check out the testimonials 
from my students who are with their twin flame, having amazing spiritual breakthroughs, shutting down the obsessive thinking. You get it. I'm the world's leading twin flame coach. Go check it out right now, guys. You can read testimonials from my students or you can look all over my YouTube channel. They're everywhere. Almost any one of my videos, you can find a testimonial. There's also success story videos, twin flame success stories all over my YouTube channel where I cover said testimonials, lots and lots of data, lots of proof, guys. If you don't know who I am, if you're new here, go check them out, guys. I've coached over 4,000 students. Go sign up for my paid coaching. I mean, shit, get the good stuff, guys. Sign up today. It's 10 hours of instructional videos that I give you, and it's not thousands of dollars, guys. It's only a few hundred bucks. All the other Twin Flame coaches charge thousands of dollars. Fuck that shit. I'm never going to do that crap. Get that shit out of here right now. It's affordable. It's comprehensive. It's on my website, newworldallstar.com. After you're done watching the instructional video course, we get a talk in a group setting or with one of my other coaches. There's also the secret, closed, private Facebook group where you get exclusive content and you can interact with other people that are also in the program and they can assist you to all the way to the end. And I want masters. That's my job. This isn't going to work unless I make a master out of you. You have to be that good. And you can be, guys. It's easy to do that when you know who you are. You are a soul. You are a soul, guys. And I'm going to make it easy for you. I'll give you action steps to make the necessary lifestyle changes to be who you really are, a soul, consciousness, which is your twin flame. And the more you increase that energy, guess who shows up? You'll never guess who shows up and won't leave you the fuck alone. Yep. Yep. Mr. Divine Masculine, or Miss, in my case, right? I'm going to teach you everything I learned in a scientific way. It's not expensive. I even have payment plans. You can start for 60 or 70 bucks, and you get full access to everything up front. Holy shit. Someone's really trying to get my attention right now. Which one? It's one of these. Oh, fuck. It's this one. Oh, my God, dude. It was a sparky one. Roar! Anger! Four of Cups. Lots of red in that shit. Look at that. Four of Cups. Anger. Well, this should be a good one. Should be interesting. I don't know, man. Maybe Divine Masculine's pissed. They're, they're not really sure what to do. They know they screwed up, and they're really kicking themselves in the ass. Four of Cups. Message. Emotions are fragile, as are cups. You can break and explode. Uh, I lost my place. Your cups, yeah, your cups are smashed in anger. In your inner conflict, you see red and become enraged, like the stormy, muddy river. You are aggressive as you throw your emotions or cups around. You are a defensive and as the prickly cactus. Anger is a fall on your way to the mountaintop. That's interesting. But the passion of anger can be converted into positive energy and spur you on to new heights. Let your anger out in a non-abusive way and you will be renewed and transformed. Channel your anger into creativity. Well, that's good advice. I must say, that's pretty good advice. Death in reverse. Divine masculine resisting changes. Okay, divine masculine, you have to stop kicking yourself in the ass, buddy. It's okay. You can forgive yourself. And if they come forward making apologies, Divine Feminine, number one, don't be surprised because of the amazing spiritual work that you're doing. Number two, eh, just give them a break. They're you. They're you. Your twin flame is you. You don't have to hate on them. They are you. They are you. It's the ego that you don't like. And everybody's got one, guys. Don't be all high and mighty on your high horse like you ain't got no shit that stinks, all right? Everybody's got some shit. Everybody's done some shit. Okay, everybody's got an ego. Everybody's got baggage. Even me, dude. And my ego is very thin, and yours can be too. But goddammit, it's still there. I'm not perfect. So Divine Masculine coming at you with some bullshit. Forget about it, guys. That's just the mind. This is not a journey of the mind. This is a journey of the soul. you got to start doing soul stuff. And you know what's going to happen? They're not going to leave you the fuck alone, guys. Now look at this. Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Hierophant. Yeah, pair of fives. Big, big changes. We're talking about creating real stability in Divine Masculine's physical life situation. Lots of old stuff being cleared out to create that. And towards you, Divine Feminine, 
Five of Swords in reverse, Two of Swords. Guys, Two Swords right up the ass. They're going to have to make a decision, and they better hurry up, and it better be the right decision. They're going to be forced to make this choice, whether they resist it or not. You can run Divine Masculine, but you can't hide. You're going to have to start making amends with Divine Feminine. That's it, guys. Oh, my goodness. What a powerful reading. Happy Saturday. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow, Sunday, for the Divine Feminine reading. Please hit the like button and subscribe. And when you subscribe, please don't forget to hit the bell notification so that you get notifications whenever I post one of my videos. I'll be back tomorrow. Have a great Saturday, guys. Bye.